Welcome guys to another episode, Tambuche here. I cannot talk very loud because the wife is sleeping in the next room and I don't want to wake her, but I'll try to increase the volume while I'm editing the video. Now today I am in Maybox Linux and this is an open box based distribution. I'll go to the home page and show you. So the description here. What is Maybox? It's a fast, lightweight, and functional Linux desktop, relaxed rolling release, Manjaro based with OpenBox Window Manager. So, long story short, it's Manjaro with OpenBox and a very highly customized version of OpenBox. I'll put a link in the description of the download page for you. And here there's also a Maybox forum. Uh, that's included when you um, open the browser. And this is the latest Firefox version 120. Now going to the history, this is what I've done to it so far, not a whole lot. I did an update, I enabled FS trim, I installed these AUR apps as well as HTOP. And if I do a uh, right click here you can see it's a very highly customized version of open box it does use jg menu I've been, I've been playing around with this distribution for about half an hour or so but i did try it before around a year ago sometime last year anyways and the look of it hasn't changed a whole lot although the apps have been updated and if you click here, there's a menu over here, and there's a similar type of layout on this side. If I click here, it's the same as right clicking, so it brings up the menu. This is just your show desktop and hide desktop. Here I can change my wallpaper, so if I right click here, I can choose set as wallpaper. There you go, that's how you do that. There's a file manager, which is uh, PCMan FM. I like PCMan FM. And also a terminal here. I'm not sure which one this is. I'll have to find out later. But there's also another Quake terminal, I believe it's called. Or, um, yeah, Quake Term. So that's done by pressing F12. And if I want to close something, I just middle click on the scroll wheel. There's a control center here and Maybox does come with PAMOC as your graphical installer for applications. Now here there's a colorizer menu. I don't remember how this works. I'll have to play around with it at another date. Now I have a couple screenshots here. This is the way it looked when I first rebooted. So there's their welcome screen here. I do have also a screenshot of HTOP running without the screen recorder. So it's only using 438 megs at startup, which is quite low. Now, I don't need it to be that low myself. With eight gigs of RAM, I can run pretty much any desktop environment. But nevertheless, I think it's pretty cool and I'm kind of a sucker for these lightweight um, window managers or desktop environments. Now I'm going to change the conkeys a little bit. So if you go here, I'm going to take away uh, everything except this thing here. So we'll take away this, um, this and this. We'll hit apply and there you go. Now there's options to configure your Tint 2 panel as well. Um, a whole bunch of options. For example, I don't care about these CPU and mem memory and networking modules, so we'll just um, get rid of those. Now that's interesting that when I clicked on that thing, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks where I have to uh, click them one at a time, but there you go, that's how you get rid of that. Also, there's an option in the Tint 2 panels to auto-hide the panel if you want more 
uh, screen real estate. I put yes for auto hide and you notice after a couple seconds it hit itself. Now it's better if say you're using a browser like this, it'll go full screen. But I, one thing I wish it had was intelligently hide. So um, it doesn't have that option here. Maybe there's no option for that for tint two. But um, this thing's pretty cool. I can search for stuff by typing up here. So uh, I don't know really, like we'll say genie. There you go. As for applications, I'm not gonna go through them all. They do have MPV, which is a very popular media player. Audacious, I do like this lightweight music player. They don't have a mail reader. There's a radio player, interestingly enough. I haven't played around with it yet, but another time. So I'm not gonna go through all the apps. There seems to be a small number of default apps but a whole bunch of other customized settings in the open box menu. So it's really cool looking. It's a very beautiful uh, version of open box, although a bit complicated, but I think after time I can get used to this. Now I do still have Archcraft installed in my system, but I think I've configured it to the point that there's not, not much more that I want to do with it, except for maybe install IceWM onto it. I did try Maybox out last year, but the problem I had with it is when I installed the NVIDIA driver, it froze my system after reboot. So I'm not going to install it today, but I'm going to play around with it during the rest of the week and we'll see if we can fix that problem. But yeah, that was a quick intro into Maybox. Until next time, guys, have a good day. Oh, well, one thing I forgot to tell you is I didn't go through the install process, but it did come with the Calamari's installer. The only maybe complicated, tricky part is finding out where the installer is. So it's this thing right here. So just click right here when you're in the live USB environment. But uh, okay, for real this time, have a wonderful day, guys.